All right, so what's up, guys? Look, uh, I'm just chilling here in bed, and I figured I'd do a commentary. Um, it's pretty cool, man. It's uh, it's a gameplay here um, that's basically pretty old, but what makes this gameplay awesome is the fact that I pull off some really, really good drag scopes. Um, and the reason I'm drag scoping is because there's no aim assist in this gameplay. It's literally all me. No aim assist, no ADS snap, nothing, none of that. Just full on Wiimote. Where you point is where you shoot, and that's it. So, uh, so that's what makes it pretty cool. Um, so yeah, like I said, I pull off some really awesome drag scopes, and I also pull off a really, really cool X-ray vision type shot, which you'll see coming up in a little bit. Um, look, the commentary is not going to be about anything in particular. It's just going to be talking about the gameplay. Um, now, I apologize in advance. For, uh, for possibly sounding a little tired. I just spent the last like seven hours, I think, um, playing this game. And all I was trying to do was get a swarm on my uh, Jew Analog account. And I just couldn't do it. Um, so I gave up. I uh, switched over to my Wiimote and um, to my Wiimote profile and just got a swarm on that. Um, and then I turned it off. So yeah, I'm pretty buggered. Um, this game takes a lot out of me when I really try and and do like as well as I can and stuff you know I'm all like in that hyper mode where I'm like reacting as fast as I can um, now I just freeze frame the video here for a sec uh, just to show you why sometimes I really hate this game uh, you can clearly see that my cursor is right over the guy I've got the red name and everything and a shot and, uh, and I don't get a hit marker now in this video it's not so much of a big deal because the guy just keeps running uh, because he's a moron and then I, uh, and then I still shoot him and kill him anyway. But um, but this is an old gameplay, like I said. And uh, you know, back then you could get away with stuff like that. These days, there's no way you'd get away with something like that. You know, this is this is back when you would, you know, you could see an enemy and you wouldn't die within like a quarter of a second. Um, whereas nowadays, you know, you see an enemy and basically the engagement is over within about half a second. Somebody's killed somebody. Uh, you don't get those long, drawn-out gunfights or anything like that anymore, pretty much, because everyone's like full pro. Everyone knows the maps. They all know the lines of sight. They know the, you know, um, high traffic areas and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going nuts here, and, and you can see here my Wemo just dies. Uh, that uh, that used to happen um, with my old Wemo and Nunchuck, where basically I'd just be playing, and then my Nunchuck, uh, my whole my whole controls would just cut out, and I'd just sit there, and you couldn't do that even if you tried, like your whole controls just, you know, sitting there like that because uh, that would only happen if your controls actually could cut out because otherwise you'd just keep spinning. Um, it's just the nature of the way the Wiimote works. But, uh, but yeah, I, I've since bought a new Wiimote. That doesn't happen anymore, so that's always a good thing. Uh, that's some pretty bad luck there, man. Climb that window and it just so happens to be a grenade there. And then I got sort of stuck in animation where I couldn't do anything and I just died. So, pretty unlucky. But it doesn't matter anyway, I don't have any streaks or anything other than the UAV. So, pretty high action, you know, uh, high octane gameplay at the moment. Uh, tons of, like, pump cancel kills, tons of drag scopes. Uh, well, not tons, quite a few of them. And there'd be quite a few more coming up. There's another one. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Now, this gameplay, um, it's a good time to put this gameplay up because just recently TBNR frags kind of chucked up a gameplay, I mean, look at that, that was, that was awesome, um, of sort of something similar where he just uses the KSG on Nuketown and just goes absolutely nuts with it, uh, where he basically just uses um, hip fire. he doesn't ADS at all with it, and he goes, he gets some sort of crazy score, and he's, he is an absolute nutcase, if you don't know who TBN our frags is, you should definitely check him out on YouTube, because he is like the best player in the world, and there's that x-ray shot I was talking about, now that was Freaking awesome, man. That was really, really good. I have to say, like, I'm really happy and proud about that shot. Uh, another drag scope. I was just going nuts here this day, eh? I was, I was crazy. I remember what was happening was, uh, it was, this was probably shortly after they patched the Wiimote settings so that you have all the, um, you know, sensitivity options and all that kind of stuff. You can get the Wiimote sort of tweaked to just the way you like it. And I remember one of the first things I wanted to do was just, you know, Go, go to town with a KSG and really start using it. another drag scope. So that's that's what I did here in this video. And uh, I was 
I was really having a lot of fun with it, eh? It was, it was great. Because, you know, up until this point, the Wiimote controls were pretty badly broken. And this was what I wanted to do the whole time that the game was out, but I couldn't because, you know, the controls were just not patched. They were not, they weren't, you know, all those settings and stuff just weren't there. And so as soon as they became available, that was like my goal. Yeah, a knife that guy in the back. Um, so I was still using Betty's on my class here. And so this is, I think I die here, right? Yeah, so the best thing to have done there would have been to run in and just knife the guy. Um... But, uh, but I was sort of stuck in that mentality, you know, sometimes I do that, sometimes I get stuck in that mentality of like, I start a match or whatever and, you know, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to do pump cancelling, let's say, I'm going to do hit fire, pump cancelling, like this gameplay. And the problem is that like, that's all I'll do, I won't like, adapt or change up my gameplay, you know. And you see here that I, I started doing that, see, I, I knifed that guy rather than try to kill him with pump cancelling. Um, but it's really hard. I find it really hard to get out of that mentality. Like, usually if I enter a match, say, to, you know, saying to myself, oh, okay, I'm going to use my KSG class and I'm just going like, to go nuts with it. Then that's like the way I see it. As, as that's all I'm going to do. I'm only going to kill with my KSG. I'm not going to knife. I'm not going to use C4. None of that. Just the KSG. And, uh, and that's not good. You know, to be stuck in that mentality is really bad because you need to be versatile, right? You need to be able to, you know, use all sorts of methods to win, uh, not just one, one method. So, not very successful here with the drag scopes. Uh, it's pretty tough at long range. And then I, yeah, I can't believe that killed me. Eh? But, uh, but yeah. So, um, and I still do it sometimes. You know, I still go into matches, and I think to myself, oh yeah, I'll, I'll just use this Remington class, and you know, I chuck out the Remington and start, uh, you know, whip out the Remington and start, start going nuts with it, pump cancelling or whatever. But whenever an enemy is really, really close to me, instead of knifing him, you know, I'll try and kill him with a pump cancel. I don't know why. It's just like, it's just like I feel like, I don't know, it's feel, I feel like that's what I want to do. So, don't know where that guy came from. But really, really lucky I didn't die from him. Um, but yeah. So, I don't know. I hope, I hope you guys have found this gameplay interesting. I, I thought all those drag scopes and stuff were pretty entertaining, um, especially that one through the through the railing there or whatever it was. That was that was cool. Um, commentary, you know, I, this is probably the first time I've done a, done a commentary solely on the gameplay. But there's so much to talk about this gameplay, you know, like because it, it was awesome, you know. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know. Let me know if you want to see more like more of this kind of stuff in the future from my channel, where I just talk about gameplays. Or if you thought it was crap, and just let me know as well, you know, so I can uh, change it up. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, as usual, have a good day.